In the last video in this series, we created a form with a success message. However, if you try and submit the form without completing all the required fields, it's going to reload, which isn't very friendly. We can use Perch Forms to create clear error states for our form. Now I want to do two things here. I want to flag up some fields as being required and show an error message. I'd also like to add a class to this div here. When there's been an error, I'd like to add a class of error. And that's going to let me do some styling on the whole field label and, and value pair. So this is my template, contactform.html. So I'm first going to add those messages if a field isn't completed. So underneath the name, I'm going to add perch error. And I need to say which error this is for. So this is for name. So we say name. And the type of error is it's required. This field is required. So this, this error should show up if the field that's required isn't filled in. Now the perch error tags, they're pairs because you can put content inside them. So let's just close that so we don't forget to do it later. And then inside the error, we can put whatever we want our message to be. And also any markup that you might need to have. So I've got a class to show my error. So that's an error. If they haven't filled in the name field, they're going to get this error. So I can now do the same thing for my other fields. They're all required, so we can just copy that block. And let's go down here to email. We need to make sure after we've done this that we change. So it says four. That says name, so we just change this one to email. And so we can change the message as well to make it clear. And then we go down to the message. I'm going to do the same thing here as well. So those are the required error messages. Now we've also got something here. This email field needs to be an email address. It's no good them filling in a form for us to respond to and giving us something that we can't uh, reply to. So we want to make sure that we have a valid email address. So if we take this block, so it's still for email, but this time its type is format. So if we get an error from the form that it's not an email address, then they're going to see a message saying, please enter a valid email address. Now it may be that the browser supports the email type and will catch this for you and the person will never see this message. But this is a backup in case the browser doesn't support the email type and can't validate it. So we're kind of backing up those HTML5 types for you. I mentioned that I also want to add a class when there's been an error. This is going to allow me to do some styling if there's been an error and give people a bit more information about what's going on. They can visually see that. Now the fact is we can use these tags anywhere, so I can basically use them to wrap a class. So I can take the perch tag, and pop it up here, and we're just going to add it here, and then we're going to put error. And then again, you need to close your tag. And we can do that. down here. And you might want to double this up so you can have both the uh, required and the format. So once we've done that, we can go back to our form. And what you need to do is because the form is cached, because it's perch content, we need to go and resubmit that page. 
in order to get our changes to show up. So if we just go back to our contact form here and hit save changes and then perch will cache our new information that we've put into the form. So we hit send and there you go you can see that we've got these error states now showing up and our messages and if we start to fill this out but what if we add something that's not the correct email address so we're now asking for a valid email address and so on and so we can work through until we manage to successfully submit our form so those error tags are actually really useful. You can use them in lots of different ways to create really good messaging and make it much easier for people to fill your forms in.